Don't wonder, just ask us. I guess we start with Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, everybody. So um, I come back from vacation, DVR full with treats. I got um, Beverly Hills Housewives. I got Atlanta Housewives. I got Housewives coming out the ass, and I'm thrilled. I just want to get in my bed with my little dog and watch Housewife Hell. It's, it's a dream come true. So I was watching the Beverly Hills one with Camille, the dinner from hell that you told me about, with Alison Dubois, the psychic, with her electronic cigarette and too much booze with the jacuzzi, crazy size martinis. And it's not a good combo. Anyways, all the girls, alpha situation, and it got really, really ugly. And it was, it was weird. It made, me, it made me kind of sad even. It just felt odd. And, but it makes me think, you know, don't drink and drive. Don't, um, you know, read and drive. Or, but she wasn't there to read. I don't know. What, you know, what do you think? Okay, but she, she's, so she's the psychic that Medium is based on, that Kelsey Grammer and Camille produce. Right. Patricia Arquette plays. Right. Okay. Right. Just so everybody knows. And you, of course, know she is because she's part of the, you know, the elite. Um, well, my thing about Alison was I don't know her personally, but I do know that uh, being a medium in a situation where you're at a dinner party, I mean... I, I got to give her a little bit of props for a second because I know everyone, sla my, my mailbox got slammed. I didn't even watch it. I liked Beverly Hills Housewives and they're like, they, they're like her circle and her friends and she knows them all. And you want to know, and it's kind of fun. They're my friends. I know them. I know of them. <laughs> yeah, like she's in that crowd. But it's kind of like, uh, with the Alison Dubois thing, I think, you know, she was there to ha be at a girl's dinner and drink and have some fun. And there are times where, you know, I get invited to parties and it's like, you know. But they're going to ask. They're going to ask. Right. It's like, prove it. You know, it's one of those. Things. Right. So it's always like, yeah, so what do you think about this next month? And, I'm, and you know, I don't like to, I, wanna, I want somebody to hang out with me because I want to hang out. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I want to be able to have a couple of drinks. I don't know about the electronic cigarette, but I did know. That's, <laughs> it's a that's bummer. It. There's nicotine in it. It's a weird thing. Really? No. It's, it's an affectation. It's weird. Is it? I, I heard there's, it's just water vapor. That's what I heard, so it doesn't annoy people, because the only way No, I no, it doesn't. You can do it in restaurants. You can do it anywhere. And I think people love lighting up and going, oh, no, 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 no. And they're like, it's electronic. Whatever. It's I, a battery pack. It's all good. I just think, I just think this. I think, um, and the show was based on her, and a lot of it, you know, Hollywood made a lot up, lot up of it, you know. So it's yeah. kind of like, you know, 25,000 crimes, and, you know, she's also a mom. She's also many other titles in her right. life. But at the so end, she's like, you know, when your children go missing, you'll come see us. I mean, it's, it's a little... A I could see how she came off, but yeah. there was also alcohol involved, and I think yeah. that, you know, she was there to probably let loose and hang out with the girls. So, you know, good for her for wanting to do that. I'll protect right. her. She's an Aquarius. Okay. But, um, again. I don't have to. Um, but, we're, <laughs> <laughs> but what we do have to do is answer a question. Yes, we do. We are going to answer a question. <laughs> I'm Lauren Serafin, Egozilla, bitchiest um, best friend. I'm annoyed because she has a bigger <laughs> intro opening than I do, <laughs> and psychic shouldn't drink and read. Yeah. Which is kind of true, because yeah, what's yeah, funny is every time we go anywhere, she drives, because yeah. if I'm reading, I don't like to read and drive. No, it's too much. It's too or much. do it like yeah. a group or, or... My or mother thinks you should be chauffeured everywhere. Which, yeah, you know, well... Because she likes him better, but that's another story. Correct. So let's get our question. Yes. Hi, Angelo and Lauren. I was involved with someone for almost 15 years. We split last year, and even though I was never sure if he was the one, he was my best friend. I'm having a real hard time letting go. I made a lot of mistakes when we were together. In many ways, I knew he deserved better. I was always on the fence. Is there hope for me? Um, well, it, that, that makes me a little sad. 15 years is a long time, so you're going to feel it. You're absolutely going to feel it. And don't they say, people say this, and it can be true or not, that you can take half the time to grieve and get over it. So 15 years, that can be seven and a half years of what happened, what did I do? But the fact that you thought he deserved better, that also means that you maybe deserve better. Maybe it wasn't the perfect match, but you learned stuff and you didn't leave. So that was meant to be. You spent your time together. And um, you almost, if you can leave without beating yourself up too much about it or him, you, you grew. You grew a lot. Se 15 years is two seven-year times. and Don't you shed your skin every seven years? I mean, all your cells, like, rejuvenate and replenish. I think um, just... Be a little kinder to yourself, and you do deserve love, and you do deserve someone new, and you learned a lot of things, and thank him and let him go. 
Uh, don't wait seven years. Botox your soul. Wait seven weeks. <laughs> This is something you can get over really, I think, quicker. Um, a lot of times when I'm doing intuitive coaching to people and I always tell them like, bring me your wounds, let me see, and I, I witness it for them and I teach them a way to blow it out so that they don't hold it up against them. I wanna say I feel you, you're in your 40s and um, I think that, it, it, another thing I like to teach uh, my, my, my women that I get to coach or do uh, group seminars is uh, a soulmate is somebody who's going to be in your life and either make it completely crappy that you have to change it, or it, it bends you to change a core belief within you. It's not meaning, oh, we were together 15 years and you were comfortable, yeah, and then all of a sudden it ended. That's great, but that's something you can actually pack away quick because you didn't leave it. It wasn't so badly done. You didn't burn it to the ground. Right, and you want to know what's funny is um, I do, it, and there is a little psychic ooh and ah about this. I do feel you're going to meet somebody else. And I'm seeing a hospital setting. I'm getting um, a nursing energy. Either he's, I think I want to say he's medical. He's a nurse or does something that has to do with medicine. Or a doctor. Uh, okay, because, you know, she has more money to spend. <laughs> um, I, I think it's more of like he's a, more of a bedside um, caretaker, somebody, something, something like that. Um, I think that take what you got from that relationship and um, be happy for what you had in that time and just say, hey, that was a soulmate. I'm ready for my twin flame. And a oh. twin flame is that person that is actually going to match your chakras and match who oh, you are inside. Nice. Because yeah. it's, it's about self-esteem. But again, I don't believe in one soulmate, one twin flame. I believe in that we learn we through many. people. And Absolutely. you know, you can make it work with a lot of people. And to really wrap it up and think that it was all or nothing or this is it, I think that's um, loving out of fear. Yeah. And, and I, you should not love out of fear. Whatever you do, do not negotiate your self-esteem on this. Yeah. Because you've given the time. And now you're just going to give the time and say, OK, I'm packing this away. I've said my piece with it. It wasn't an evil, horrible breakup. You know, we lost, there's kids involved. It's not. It's yeah. actually, you're walking away and guess what? You're 40, early 40s, and you're now in your 30s. So I want you to think. And that um, it's gonna I'm in my early 40s still till, you know, the mid 40s. And um, it's a wonderful place to be. It's a wonderful place to be. I love it. And um, now just take all that knowledge and just be more you and enjoy it and trust it more. Because I think there's been a lot of not trusting yourself. Now trust yourself and let other people see that. And you'll definitely bring in someone who's really great for you. I really believe that. Yeah, and your vibe comes off really, really um, kind sweet. of sweet sweet and yeah. funky. So uh, by, by hearing the question, yeah. I want to say psychic prescription. Don't think that you have to mourn it for as long as Egozilla says you have to. I, think I didn't you say you have to. I'm just saying it can take time. It can take time. I'm not, I'm not promoting it. Like uh, but you want to know what? Knows. It's time with the whole planet starts yeah. wrapping things up yeah. because we're still in this consciousness of, you know, things have to be done mm -hmm. a certain way when we can really and, just... But don't get nostalgic over the time spent. It was a lovely time. You learned a lot of things. And but don't keep on holding on to 15 years, 15 years down the drain, 15 years. No. People just... You have 15 years ahead of yeah. awesome things. You're also going to hear from them again in May due to a situation. It's a May situation that... Um, there's a connection with me that's really important that you actually have a come together, see together, or, or something happens, like there's a come together, that you're gonna run into them again, and it's not gonna be the same because you're gonna be at a better place where you're elevating yourself. So oh, that's, that's nice. my- I like that. That's my psychic prescription. Okay, good luck with that. Let us know how it goes. Absolutely. So.